What's up? I'm Milan, and I like movies. The victors of the 74th Hunger Games, Katniss Everdeen and Peter Millar. Thanksgiving is right around the corner, and I love to eat. So as I caught up with the cast of The Hunger Games Catching Fire, how could I not talk about food? If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Ooh. <laughs> I love this question so much. One food for the rest of my life? Have one food for the rest of my life. Scientifically and medically, I would say red beans and rice because oh, you can live off of that for the rest of your life. But I'm gonna say pizza or, or lasagna or ramen noodles, from and for some reason watermelon is sticking in oh, my mouth. Wow. <laughs> well, like that's that's sweet, not that's not what I expected. Kind of like, I would just take stuffing because then I could put everything that I love in it and it would be great. I think I would have to ask my wife. Probably just go call it Dr. Pepper. <laughs> no food. Just no food. Just a big liquid diet. It can be extra healthy. Cereal. Cereal? Cereal. Any, any, any Captain cereal? Crunch? I have like a top three. It's like it's like cinnamon a crunch, cinnamon toast, toast crunch, crunch is his favorite. cookie crisp, and uh, frosted flakes. Cookie uh, crisp. My mom would never buy cookies. Of course, because she thought it was cookies. But she would buy. I know, but she would but buy all Captain the other Crunch. Are the same. But she would see <laughs> cookies on the box and be like, nope, "No, that's unhealthy." Yeah. <laughs> Hunger Games set the bar pretty high after grossing seven hundred million dollars worldwide. But be assured, Catching Fire takes the sequel a notch up. Had to be bigger, bolder, crazier, um, more, more, more. That, that was our motto. It's an amazing world to build, and there's a bunch of new places to visit, a new arena to build. So it was like, you know, loads of opportunities for me. I read that you said that Jennifer Lawrence brings out like new facets in this movie and stuff. And uh, mm -hmm. can you tell me about that and how was her performance? Well, her performance is fantastic. I mean, she's she's an amazing actress. But I think that you know the idea is that because this movie takes place after the last, and because she's been in the games and survived, she's a changed person. She now has flashbacks and night terrors and um, you know bonds with PETA differently because of their sort of shared experience in the games and so we get to explore that territory with her. Calm complicated times. Yeah very complicated times. So in the movie you know you were kicking butt with a bow and arrow like it's really awesome right? it really is like it's like a shield so if it's like the end of the world would I be safe like staying behind Jennifer Lawrence and you save Absolutely my not no like that would probably be your least <laughs> safe. Actually maybe because I, oh, I might still have security. <laughs> your bodyguards are the Yeah you. my bodyguards are <laughs> My body absolutely yeah, free to join. No, 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 I'm useless. I'm a completely useless person. Katniss saves and Jennifer Lawrence doesn't. Check out The Hunger Games Catching Fire in theaters everywhere November 22nd. Yeah, and that's Movies with Milan. That's Movies with Milan. That's Movies with Milan.